Take a good look. Do you know the identity of this man right here? Police say he may be the killer of Wayne State Police Sergeant Colin Rose. That man almost run over by a Detroit bus and this video just released from the murder back in November. Seven investigator Jim Kirshner has a closer look at the video and the status of this case. Jim. Yeah, let us give you the view of this video. It's here on Grand River. The bus where this video was taken was headed east right into downtown. This is right before Motor City Casino, the building there with all the chrome. And this is just a few blocks south of where Sergeant Colin Rose was killed. And the bus almost hit him. We saw that from a, a camera way down the street because it fit with our timeline in the locations. The video system inside the DDOT bus is not the best. Police say the emblem on the front of the man's black hoodie could be a block letter M or W for Wayne State. FBI enhancements cannot determine much more. You know, they did some lighting and some different types of enhancements that did help us see the overall image better. But as far as the details, they're just not in that video. Police want you to look closely at the man's walk, and they say it is the same man who was captured on other surveillance video back on November 22nd with the killer running and then riding a bike. People can recognize people based on their gait. It could be uh, other characteristics of an individual that say, I know that person. Days after the murder, police arrested D'Angelo Davis, but then he was cleared in the murder. When he was released from jail, he had a prevalent limp. Is this new video why Davis was released back then? I would say not. I would say there were other factors. Police have followed up on hundreds of tips and talked with hundreds of people. If you know who this might be, call with a simple tip. The, a name. A name of the person. Uh, we find that person and we will determine if it's them or not. Now the reward money in this case continues to increase and you can see this is a popular route for DDOT buses here along Grand River. The reward money is up to $108,000 contributed by Crime Stoppers and the feds with alcohol, tobacco and firearms. If you know anything, call Crime Stoppers 1-800-SPEAK-UP. You can remain anonymous. On Detroit's West Side, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Certainly a lot of money, Jim. Let's hope some tips come in. Thank you so much.